So I'm with Joseph Amster, a.k.a. Emperor Norton, and there's stuff underground, not only here, but all over California we're going to talk about. Tell me about what's out in this bay. Out there are a number of ships that were buried and were discovered when they built new buildings. Tell me where we are now. I'm like the bay is feels like it's miles away. It's about five or six blocks. Five or six blocks. And so tell me what's below us right here. What below us is what's below us right here would have been the bay back in 1849. It actually started a block that way on Montgomery Street, and what was originally here was a ship called the Niantic. And in the 1850s, it got pulled up on the ground and turned into the very famous Niantic Hotel. It eventually burned down. They used it as a warehouse as well as a hotel. And then they built a building here that eventually got torn down. And then they built this building that's here today. But when they did that, they found the hull of the Niantic right below us. And the rudder of the Niantic that they found here is in the Maritime Museum by Ghirardelli Square, all copper clad. It's amazing, very well preserved. So this is, I mean, this is kind of a, a very amazing historic junk pile. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, and these were all garbage dumps for everybody. They find all kinds of things when they dig down here. And when they find one of these ships these days, they have to hire an archaeologist to come in and take the artifacts out before they can continue uh, construction. Yeah. Yeah, like we were saying, we were talking on the way down here, uh, remind me of the gentleman that did that incredible map we'll show. Oh, Richard Everett, who's a uh, employee of the National Park Service, he works in one of the museums up by Fisherman's Wharf, and he did an amazing map showing downtown San Francisco as we know it today with all the streets and the major buildings labeled and then there's a transparent outline of the original Yerba Buena Cove superimposed over today's city with the wharves, the piers, the ships, even the names of the ships when they're known. It is an incredible map. And we did a story about the uh, old Cecil B. the mill sets that were buried under the Guadalupe dunes. Oh, isn't that amazing? Which is an amazing story. But this is the same thing, except there's just very expensive real estate on top of it. Exactly. And they will keep finding them, I'm sure. Every time they go to build Every time they get dig down, yes. Wow. So, Joseph, we're at the Old Ship Saloon. What's going on here? Well, there was literally an old ship here. Uh, this was a ship that came to San Francisco with 76 Methodists that were headed to the gold fields. And they docked it off of what is now Alcatraz. And then they ended up dragging it up to dry ground on here, cutting a hole in the side, and literally turned it into the old ship saloon. Literally an old ship. And this was a place that was notorious for Shanghai. So if you ever order a drink here, keep an eye on your bartender, because you never know what you're going to get. You get the Mickey Fed. Exactly. How far is the bay? How far? Are the we? bay is about three blocks that way now. Yeah. This was so this, but it was pulled up on dry land, so uh -huh. this had been filled in or something. Right, right, and uh, of course the bay wasn't perfectly. No, it wasn't perfectly, yeah. but they sort of came down right about here, uh, maybe another block or so that way. But they were able to ground it here to turn it into that. They ran a plank up into the hole they cut in the side, and then people could just go in and have a drink. Wow, wow, well, wow. you know, here we are, old ship saloon. I'm here with Emperor Norton. This is a fun city. Tell me a little bit quickly about the cable cars. So the cable cars were established in San Francisco. They were invented here. First line was August 1st, 1873. The inventor was Andrew Smith Halliday. And we used to have over a dozen lines, but many of them were destroyed in the Great Earthquake and Fire of 06. How did they, how did they get kept? I mean, that, that is such an amazing thing. Down, at, down in LA, we have the right car. They were gone. Progress moves on. How were they kept here in San Francisco? That was through the efforts of a woman named Friedel Klusman. By the 1940s, only the three lines we have today remained. They were a little bit different than they are now, but basically those three lines. And the city announced they were going to get rid of them all because they were too expensive and too old-fashioned. And she didn't want to see that happen, so she started a petition drive to change our city charter that protects our cable cars now forever and further enhanced by their designation as a National Historic Landmark, a constantly moving 
National Historic Landmark. And so that's why we still have our cable cars today. If you went to the Hyde Street turnaround over the gate, it's the Fidel Klusman turnaround named in her honor for saving our cable cars. God bless her for preserving California history.